Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to Painting with Whiskey and Women. I am Krista, a furniture artist, Litter to Glitter, out of Garland, Texas. Uh, just to let you know what I'm doing tonight. I didn't like this side, as you can see if you watched my live yesterday. This is a little bit more blotchy than I want it to be. So I'm going to be re-blending this side over my base blend. And Sue's going to talk to you guys while I share stuff out because, you know, that's what we do. And so, Sue... Take it away, baby girl. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm Sue with Nana's Antique Boutique, located here in Sevierville, Tennessee, inside the Fleet Traders Paradise, 1907 Winfield Dunn Parkway. Uh, tonight, I'm going to do a little kickback to uh, something that CC from CC Restyle did up at Pinner's Conference in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, when we were back there in October. She had this neat little craft idea where she took wood, pieces smaller of course and then let us pick out of a pile all these resin molded pieces that she had made uh we glued them on uh painted them i actually still have the same paint that i took from the class and the paint couture top coat that goes over the top which i purchased before i left there so we'll be working on this tonight it, it's actually a pretty cute little craft um they'd be good for hanging on the wall or or whatever and so sue tell me about that so you took a blank you glued molds onto i did i glued it with wood glue but i also had a little bit of e6000 left and i used that it glued a lot faster that way they're not going to fall apart when they hit something awesome and then i stacked them i didn't just do them all flat but i've actually got them lighter and i don't know if you guys could see Oh, yeah, that's, that's showing up good. So, and then when I'm done with them, uh, you might have seen when you were in my shop, Krista, I'll drill a hole in the top, mm -hmm. and then I'll take sterling silver, like, square wire so it reflects the light and squirrel it, you know, swirl it up and put glass beads on there. And they're yeah, actually sure. kind of cute. Yeah, and I also thought that some of the ones you had in the shop, remember, we talked about if you added ribbon to it. Yeah. Made, like, a bow. Or, with this size board, I, you know, you and I also talked about it, make a nice little mandala. Yeah. Or, or dream catcher type piece. Mm hmm So, uh, and to my surprise, they all sold, so. Yeah, drill more <laughs> holes in the bottom, and then, you know, you can hang feathers or wind chimes or anything off of it. It's really a versatile stepping stone for one more thing you can do with it. And so it's a great, if, even as itself, it's beautiful but there's more stuff you could add to it. You could add flowers around it. You could put, you know, ribbon on it. You can hang it. You can, yeah, there's Put so it in the middle of a wreath. Mm-hmm. So, um, Delania says, hello. Hello. Jessie. Good morning, Jessie. Jessie's in Australia. She's just waking up. Uh, Kat is on. She says, hi, ladies. Amber's on. She said, there you are. Took me a minute. Hello, my friends. Kat says that that is really cool. Kath said, morning, Krista and Sue. Amber morning. says that she loves that. Um, Amber said to you, Sue, put glass beads and do resin. Oh, and yeah. That would be a cool idea. Oh, that's right up my alley, too. Um, okay, so before I get started on my stuff, had a request, had uh, Delania sent me a message right before we went live and says, hey, off the top of your head for Miss Lillian's, do you know the difference between Enchanted Night and Stella Luna? Yeah, I know the difference. Look, this is Enchanted Night, which is, the, it's a little bit bluer, and this is Stella Luna. So the darker one, this is Stella Luna, and this is Enchanted Night. So that is the difference between Stella Luna and Enchanted Night. I love that Enchanted Night. This Enchanted Night is freaking gorgeous. So I'm going to set that back down. Um, Kat says she missed us last week. She was really sick. Aww. Um, Amber asked, is that a board suit? It is. It's those real thin cutout craft boards that you get at Hobby Lobby. Delania said, thank you so much. I'm, yep, I'm ordering Enchanted Night. 
and Kat says, I'm liking Stella Luna. So um, Enchanted Night to me is, um, oh, that one's pretty, Sue. Which way do I go? That, no, that's good. That's good. Um, in, Enchanted Night to me is a really beautiful, dark, deep, very rich blue. The Stella Luna is even darker, and that would be like your blackish blue. And it has a beautiful sheen to it as well when it dries. So um, I am going to, oh, dang me. Uh, I think I should be all right. I was like, I, I knew I forgot something. I forgot to fill my Mr. Bottle. So that's all the water I have in my Mr. Bottle. Here, use five. Huh? Here, use five. It's going to be that kind of night, ain't it? It is. So that's what we're doing tonight. All right. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate it. All right. Let's move on. So um, tonight, let's discuss, because uh, we were going to discuss it the other day, and um, we didn't. We were on other topics. I think that was the night when the whole TikTok lady went off the Glitter World thing blew up. Um, but we were going to talk about destigmatizing messy work areas. And so I want to start doing that because there is no way I'm fortunate enough to have a studio um, and my studio stays messy. You can ask Sue, I will clean it up spotless. And in a matter of a day, it looks like a train wreck. It what? Well, you put your finger up like you were going to say, I never. You know, no, I didn't <laughs> say it. So, you know, a lot of times I'll see these great creators and wonderful creators and they have this beautiful thing behind them and it looks so cute. Ask them to turn their camera 15, 20 degrees. <laughs> I can guarantee you that their studio is just a bigger wreck as mine is or worse. I've seen some that was like, wow, um, you know. Yeah. But I get into my studio and I straighten and I put stuff away like once a week or sometimes twice a week. And, you know, I sweep and I mop and and within a matter of, uh, you know, one project being brought in or working on one project, it looks like, you know, nothing's happened in a month. And case in point, as you know, Shorty and I are going to Tennessee for my birthday, the middle of August. And are, are you afraid that we're coming to Tennessee? See, what was that for? Oh, I know where you're going with this. Yeah, I'm going to show them your tables. I'm not going to show them the rest of the stuff we got packed. Yeah, you but... guys are not going to believe what she scored. You're not going to believe it. Sure. Uh, before I do that. Uh... <laughs> Stay tuned after this paid announcement. Yeah. Uh, Kat, says, <laughs> that's, Kat says, I clean and I can't find anything. And that's yeah. really true. I put stuff away and it's like, hold on. I knew that that tube of glue fell underneath the left leg of, you know, my workbench. And I knew exactly where it was. Well, I picked up, I cleaned up, and now I don't know where that tube of glue is because it's where it belongs, not where I knew it was. And so I can't find it because it's put where it belongs and not where I knew it was. And so, yeah, it messes me up too. Um, Delaney's mine is always a mess. And that's the way she typed it in. Um, <laughs> Delaney says, same for me, Kat. Exactly mine, too. Uh, Amber says she had, she's had to move to the kitchen table. And uh, Amber says that her birthday is tomorrow. Well, happy birthday, Happy Amber. birthday. That's um, awesome. So back to what I was going to tell you guys. You know that uh, I tell you guys that Monday we go driving around our neighborhood because Tuesday is bulk trash pickup and people throw furniture out like you would not believe. Beautiful. Nothing wrong with it. Antiques. Doesn't matter. They throw it out. They just put it on the curb. Well, this house literally, you know, three houses that way is a street that goes that way that goes out to the main road. So we pass it every day, you know, going to work and stuff. And the other day we went out and they had a bunch of stuff from like an eye like a optometrist office, the little trays that, you know, they put glasses and stuff in. And I got a couple of those for organization, like I'm organized. And, um, but I picked them up. Hey, I'm not, I'm not shameful. I'll tell you. 
And so we started driving around and I said, I told Sue, I said, Hey, listen, they've got more up there, but more than I can use. Do you want me to go grab you a couple? Well, let me see them. I hopped in the truck with her on video chat, drove around the corner and she goes, what's that table? And I said, well, it's a hydraulic table. And she says, Hmm, I wonder if it works. So this table here, okay, was the first one we picked up, the one on the bottom. And it plugs in and it's got plugs up underneath here and it works. We plugged it in, it goes up and down, the plugs down here work. So I call up my husband and my son and I'm like, hey, this thing's too heavy for me to get this thing on the back of this truck because this thing's a good, you know, 150 pounds metal. Well, and she tried though. I did. I gave it, I gave it the old college try. Um, but my little butt wasn't getting it up in the back of that truck. So I called the boys. They, you know, I rode around the block, picked them up, went back. Well, the next day, Shorty and I, again, because we're going to Tennessee, we're going to take a load of furniture to Tennessee with us for Sue. The next day we went back last night, the smaller one, which is upside down here was out there as well. This one has a foot pedal. Like this one has a button you plug in and a button that will raise it and lower it. This one has the old fashioned foot pedal that you just hit it. So Sue is going to have these two, one at her house in her house studio and one at her store for her store studio that she can put furniture on to raise and lift it. And uh, these things, we looked them up there anywhere from, you know, 1500 to $5,000 a piece. They both work and they were sitting on the Used. curb. Used. Used. Yeah. Both of these were sitting on the curb and they're both going to Tennessee for Sue. And we found a beautiful China hutch that's way down the hall. And we found another piece that's sitting in the hall. And so that's what I mean. You bring one piece of furniture in and everything goes... And so yeah. I just want to destigmatize a messy work area because yeah, anybody can clean up a little area and go, look, I'm so organized. Ask them to tilt their camera just a little bit, just a wee little bit. Yeah. So, um, Kath said that she's uh, in bed. Her ribs are sore than yesterday. Um, definitely, Kath. Uh, Jesse said, my kitchen table is always a mess from crafting. Um, Kat says, oh, wow. Delania says, I need neighbors to throw things out like that. <laughs> Honey, it's our whole neighborhood. Uh, you drive around here Monday night and um, it's all over the place. And especially this weekend, since it was a long weekend, a lot of people had yesterday off for the 4th. Um, a lot of people did, you know, yard sales and cleaning and, you know, that extra because they had that extra day off. And so there was a lot out. I mean, yeah, but Chris, uh, your neighborhood's like nothing I've ever seen. A lot of people have big dump day once a month. You've got it four times a month. And it's just when I was there, I couldn't believe it, it in the two weeks when I saw. Yeah. And so That's not normal. People are they're like, there's no way that that much stuff gets dumped in your neighborhood. Sue was here and I was like, look, 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 look. You'll have to do a video one day. Just go out and show them what a Tuesday or even a Monday looks like. Cause it's, it's really amazing. It is. It's, um, I mean, as a furniture artist, it's great, but sometimes it's like, wow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Amber says, oh my gosh, how lucky for you, Sue. You deserve some sunshine. I delight in your good fortune. Thank you. That's, and that's, you know, we have to be happy for each other. And I know that I'm blessed with this. So if I can pass it along, I do. And, you know, I even call other people, other furniture artists, and I'm saying, hey, I can drag this to my house if you want to pick it up. If not, it's there. Do you want to grab it or you want me to drag it to my house? Because if I don't have room for it, I would hate 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 for it to just be thrown in the dump so right. delaney said since waste pro stopped picking up garbage i guess we should ride around town right so well and not only that if there was a piece of furniture that you found that that was no good you were taking the hardware off it look at that neat little latch you got yeah there was a uh, a really beautiful i mean Sue, so you saw it. It was gorgeous. And 
uh, what, what would you call it? It's an antique. It was a boat. Kind of cur like a curio cabinet. Very old with curved glass. Yeah. And beadboard backing, but it was beat up. Oh, yeah. The the legs were beat up. The, um, the, uh, the, it was missing a piece of glass. And we got it back Thank here. You. And that's when we really noticed the big, big problems with it. And since it had the bow front, it would be almost impossible for me to bend a piece of trim where it needed to be and right. make it look right. And so we started looking at the hardware and Shorty's like, I love that hardware. So I stripped the hardware off of it and then put it out front and our trash guys came and picked it up this morning. <laughs> it was only about, you know, three or four houses down from where it, it was originally, but you know, um, so if you didn't watch my live on Miss Lillian's, what I'm doing is showing you guys how to do this, you know, kind of a, a trippy boho kind of mermaid blend with four colors. And I wasn't happy with the way this side turned out. And so I'm re-blending this side. And so what I'm doing is I'm going in with a flat brush and you can do this with um, a, uh, a pad, you know, one of the, the, the soft pads. Sorry, Sue, the name just went poop out of my head. Um, what am I talking about, Sue? That's steel wool? No, the, um, I can't hear you. There's noise at this side. The finishing pads, the uh, oh, okay, the white yeah, the pads. 220 grit finishing pads or the um, the white ones, the um, yeah, it's a finishing pad. No, the it's white, not the finishing, like a scrubby. No, 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 the applicator pads, surf prep. No, Applica these. oh, those soft. Okay, I'm sorry, had I'm a minute. Sorry. My brain just went, <laughs> I love you. One of these. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight for a matter of dollars. And you can actually do this by patting it. But any brush that is like this, that has the flat surface, you can do it with as well. And so I just use that to kind of muddle in the colors. And if you don't have any of that, you can use you know, a, a small sponge and put it in a lint-free sock. Yeah, you can use a, a a kitchen towel. You can use, yeah, there's so many things that you can use to muddle this paint in together. And there is a, and it'll be amazing. And so what I'm doing is I'm just muddling those colors in together where I want them. And then I will go back here in just a second with my brush. And then I'm just going to give it a slight mist. And then I'm going to go in with just another clean brush. And I am going to just, you'll see how those colors start going from blocky. See how they're blocky here to up yeah. here, how they're, you know, really nicely blended in. And get those, those sides. I call that brush my magic eraser because of yes. how it blends like that. It really is. And so you can see how, and if I see an area, and I'm not going real heavy, I'm just, I'm feathering, just a very light feathering over top. And that's what spread. There you go. What a lot of you guys probably don't realize because, you know, we're on camera, but. Krista, when I painted with her, has a very light touch. I'm a little more heavy-handed or mild-handed, but she's got very light touch, which gives her a lot of nice finishes, too. Well, a lot of people think that you have to be in there and you have to press that sucker down and you have to get in right. there. 
right. a lot of times it, it's just like in relationships. Sometimes the jackhammer, the machine gun is not going to get your point across. Sometimes it's just the, the slight touch on the arm, baby, it's okay. We're going to get I through like this. this just, just a little soft touch, just a little feathering, just a little beauty, just a little soft. Easy. Right. That's what it takes. But thank you for that, Sue. That was awesome. Made me feel better about my day because, boy, it's been a day. But it's true. I mean, everybody paints different. I don't, I can't say I paint real heavy. But I, I put the paint on there and I'll move it real quick. Or you could do nice thin coats with some speed and finesse. She's a lot more gentle than me. Let's put it that way. Me? Gentle? You are. You really? Like my physical pack and mama. <laughs> well, I was going to say maybe with paint, but... I mean, I've never... Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, well, you'll never hear it again, so enjoy it. All right. I mean, I'm okay <laughs> with it. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not okay with it. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, if you guys noticed, um, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there are some drips from where, because I usually stop, start top to bottom when I do my blends, and that is because of when you're putting the paint on like this, sometimes it'll drip down. Um, yesterday I did it bottom to top because I wanted to see how it was going to go with the, um, cause I wanted, I was thinking about using some decoupage paper on the, um, top two drawers. And so I wanted to see how that was going to go together. Um, so I went against my own basic, you know, this is what we do. Right. And it bit me in the butt. Yeah, I got drips. When I did that final drawer yesterday, I got drips. But I wanted to point out why I normally go top to bottom instead of bottom to top. And so this is the same uh, brush. And I did not, you know, use a a uh, towel or anything to tap my paint out. I'm using the same one because I want all those colors everywhere. Now I want more colors in some areas and so that's why we're doing it this way. And I've seen other people create this effect using a different method, but this is what works for me. So the best advice I can give you is to find a creator that paints similar to your style and how, you know, if you're heavy handed, then definitely follow a creator that is, you know, that admits that they are heavy, heavier handed. Me, I'm like Sue said, I'm lighter handed than she is. Well, when we were painting those white chairs here in Tennessee, too, I noticed how different we paint. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't have noticed that in Texas because we didn't get any painting done. That's true. That's true. So I just put breakfast at Tiffany's on this one. And gosh, that's beautiful color. This is Miss Lillian's. I don't know if you guys could see it or if there's a lot of glare. A uh, little bit of glare, but yeah, you can definitely see it. Isn't that a beautiful color? It is. And then the other one was Pink Couture's Peacock. Give you a right side view. And then this one, I think, was Onyx. Yeah, Miss Lillian's Onyx. Oh, man, that Onyx is gorgeous. It is. It is silky nice. I oh, I got one more. Huh? I think the boys are home. Yep. The boys are home. Hey, boys are home, and I got you a present. Oh, Austin got me a present. Okay, you can come in and show them if you want. I don't know what you got me, but. Oh, the picture. Yeah. 
Uh, you guys know that my son works at the local Habitat for Humanity here. And so he sent me this earlier. It's an original piece of artwork that somebody did. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Mom, do you want it? It's by T. Walker. And I thought it was really cool. And so... It reminds me of her. Here, Shorty, uh, Austin says it reminds him of his mama. All right. So I've got to feather this out, but you can show him because I can't move. I've I got to this. Take camera. Is that all right with you? Yeah, go ahead. We'll go right. for it. Uh, so I'm going to take the camera away from my mom. Okay. Oh, how cute is that? Yeah, that is. Isn't that cute? It's the angel with a skull and a bulletproof vest. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's something you would have. Yeah. Perfect. I told a co-worker, he's like, yeah, the bulletproof vest is for my mom was in the military. That she's nice as an angel and she likes skulls. Ooh, what do you want, Austin? Yeah, I'm thinking. That's what I'm... So it's either go bring it here or go into the trap. Yeah, they were going to throw it out. Oh, no. Yeah, because apparently they don't do nothing skulls at Habitat. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Which, you know, for me, I'm like, what? Because, yeah, I would have been buying all that stuff had they had it, you know? Yeah. So now I know why I don't see any skulls up there, because I didn't know until today that they didn't sell stuff that had skulls in. Never crossed my mind. And so we're just going along the bottom here. Let's see if I can talk to Jared. I don't know what happened today. Okay. So, and just getting this stuff, like I said, light, light touch, get it blended in. And so, yeah, I am much happier with this than I was it before. It was very, very splotchy, and I, I wasn't happy with it. But you know what? I think I want a little touch of Bohemian Queen right up in there. So I'm just putting a dot there. See, I'm going to hit it with the mister. And then I'm going to slightly feather that in. Yeah. Because that, uh, the purple that I'm using is called wild violet. And these greens really make that wild violet pop up against it. And so I really like those greens and that purple in together. And so we're just gonna feather this down some more. And go all the way. I'm sorry if you guys can't see me on the ground here. Sorry about that. And so that's what we've got. We've completely redone that side. Um, Amber, I need to go up and get to comments. Sorry, guys. But when you're working a piece like that, you don't want it to dry. That's the big thing. You have to keep moving. You, have, you need to keep it wet. Because uh, once it dries, it's dry. You're not going to be able to reconstitute it and keep moving on. Right. Um, so, uh, when we were talking about, uh, Delaney said burnishing pads. No, it's the, 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 uh, applicator. Applicator. Pads. Yeah. You can get them from Home Depot or from Harbor. Frank, I got like. slightly distracted there. I apologize when you were asking that. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. The terry cloth pads. Uh, Kat says she loves that purple. That purple that I'm using is called wild violet from Miss Lillian's. And so that's the purple that I'm using. Uh, which brush are you blending with? Well, what I'm using, I'm actually using the Dixie Bell Best Dang brush to muddle them in together. And then I'm using the Dixie Bell uh, uh, Flat Large to, but you can use any one to go across. You can use any brush like this to get that down. Um, Kat says it looks like clouds. Amber says, I love those, Sue. 
Thank you. Uh, Chris, uh, Amber says, Krista, I love your blending. Thank you, Amber. Delaney says, ha, I love it. Me and Krista was doing the same thing last night. Yep. Um, Amber says, Sue, she's going to be doing some of those. And then Delaney said, that is a beautiful color, but I'm not sure what she was, which color she was talking about. And Amber says, she's going to try to do this blending. Well, girl, you can, you ain't got to try. You can. Yeah, you could do it. Um, I'm just reading through. Oh, everyone says that they love, Delaney says that that painting that Austin brought in is perfect. Amber says she loves it. Kat says, wow. Delaney said that's an awesome gift and perfect. So. Austin does find you some cool stuff up there, like that, uh, that, uh, deck that he got you with the painting on it. Oh, the one with, did I share that on here? I don't know. I think you did when I was there, but I don't know. Okay, well, hold on, because I'm done with this side, and I've already painted the other side, so from That's now on. That's super cool. Yeah, I'll show you some other stuff that Austin's found me. Um, and actually, I'm going to be real honest with you guys. You know, I told you that this dresser was a donation. My son, Austin, bought this at the, um, he bought this from where he works, up at the, uh, Habitat for Humanity, Austin found this dresser and donated it. So, um, this is the, the skateboard. See, it's a skateboard deck. And look, it's got Johnny Cash on it. And it's hand, it's all pencil done. And this is number 51 of 250, and it's signed by the artist. And so, they wouldn't allow it to be sold because it's got, a, you know, Johnny Cash smoking. And so, Austin... Uh Actually, we didn't get a chance to actually put that on the floor. So, yeah, Austin, Delaney said that's badass. So, yeah, this is up in my studio as well. Austin, what were the other ones that came in? There was like three of them, wasn't there? Uh, Bob Marley and uh, Elvis Presley. Oh, man. So, I'm put this back over here where it belongs. Oh, so Sue, I'm done for the night, girl. That's what I had to do on this. Really? Oh, I got yep. lots to do. Was just blend this side. And I mean, let me see if I can get this turned around without killing my, you know, because my paint and stuff. And we all know what happened yesterday when I made my paint. I dumped about three quarters of an eight ounce of Bohemian Queen on my floor. I'm uh, blending right now on this one with Bohemian Queen and Breakfast at Tiffany's. And so that is the front in the same technique. That's the front. And you're just going to have to believe me that this side is really cool because I can't switch it around oh, without. Excuse me. You feel better? A little bit. All right. Still tired. Austin just walked up behind me and I heard a big old burp. <laughs> so, That's our boy. Yeah, Delaney said that that is badass. Amber says flipping amazing that she loves Johnny Cash. Now, I love me some Johnny. And Kat says that her mother-in-law loves Elvis. Amber says the man in black. Yes, ma'am. Now, Amber asks Sue, are those Prima Molds? Uh, I believe they all are. I've got such a collection that I, I don't know who's what unless I'm looking at them. I'm trying to look at the patterns because, I mean, I know I don't know Prima's entire collection, but I yeah, don't know I, that I, I think the one you're working on right now is Prima because I think I have that same mold. Well, there's different molds out here. This, actually, this one came from Hobby Lobby for doing rosettes for candies. Uh huh. You do that too. I go down the candy aisle and a lot of. Oh man, if it's silicone, yeah. Yeah, I I get a lot of my molds from Hobby Lobby, especially when they got their seventy five cent off. And you know, there's some of those molds are, you know, three dollars. Yeah, I'll pick them up all day long for three bucks. That's, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love my Prima. I like my D. 
they, you know, I like the Zuri's. I mean, there's a lot of molds that I absolutely love, but if I can pick up something for three bucks versus, you know, 30, yeah, I'm going to make that work. <laughs> absolutely. Um, Amber says that she gets candy molds. She says, you bet. Kat says Amazon has some good ones too. Yep. Kat said that she loves that Krista. It's my colors. So the colors that I used on this is uh, Bohemian Queen, Rockabilly. I used Violet or uh, something Violet, Wild Violet. And I'm trying not to because, to, you know, to drop these. And then Seaside Gray. So those are my, my colors that I used on this. Man, I am skittish about dropping paint after yesterday. I really am. I am just like, ah. Yeah, well, you know, you got to do that one every six months, 12 months. Lose a bottle, it seems. Man, I was doing so good. And then all of a sudden, just right before I went live yesterday, I moved the table just like an inch because I couldn't move the piece without, you know, moving that. And I didn't want to move it when I was on camera. And hit my paint and knock it over. So I moved the paint and knocked one over. And I, yeah, I dumped like half a bottle of Bohemian Queen on the ground. I was so upset. Uh, Jackie says, Krista, that piece is so pretty. Thank you so much. This is one of the 13 dressers that I'm painting for the girls' home that's being built in uh, the Dallas area that we're donating to the girls' home. And so this is one of the, one of the 13 that's being um, donated to them. So, oh, Sue, that's pretty. And then I'll take the stardust from Pink Couture over the top of it, dry brush it. Mm -hmm. But that's your colors. And they're that's Miss Lillian's. Breakfast at Tiffany's and uh, Bohemian Queen. Yep. Yeah. And I need a little more on here. And so, yeah, yesterday it just broke my, broke, it hurt me right down to my black little heart. It really did. It hurt my feelings. Oh, I got to show you guys something. Uh-oh. That is never good when she says, I need to show you something, and then she goes off camera. Anybody else scared? Milo. Milo got a haircut. Milo. <laughs> Auntie Christy will see you in about four weeks. <sighs> Yep, Auntie Crystal will see you in about four weeks. Amber said she would have scraped it off the floor and threw it on the dresser. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, I did it with Slick Stick once and I wanted to cry because that was before I was selling it. And I was buying it from a retailer up the road and it was like price. gold to me. Yeah. And that Cat stuff does not want to come off indoor, outdoor carpeting. Mm -mm. Uh, Kat says, hi, Milo. <laughs> and then Amber says, I love breakfast at Tiffany's paint so much. It yeah. really is pretty. It really is a beautiful color. Wouldn't that be pretty on a bedroom set? It With would crystal? be. You know, that on a vanity. Yeah, I bet. think that's what I'll do on my next vanity. And I bet you that Breakfast at Tiffany's and Enchanted Night blended in together would make an amazing combination. We're See, right now you got either. my wheels turning. Now now my color wheels are turning. Now my, my wheels in my head are going, hmm. Yeah. Breakfast at Tiffany's and Enchanted Night. That'd be beautiful. I bet you those would be beautiful together. Cass said that that's such a beautiful gesture, Krista. Well, I thank you. Shorty and I do. And, you know, Austin's helping too. We, we uh, believe in giving back to the community. And so um, I, I feel really honored to be asked to, because I'm not the lead on this. There's another furniture artist in Dallas and we haven't made a formal announcement or anything that asks me to come in on this project with her. And so I'm waiting for her to make her big announcement about what's going on. And but I am was just asked to paint a couple of dressers for the 13 and I was happy to help in. And so <laughs> Delaney says, Krista, 
you're racking up my Miss Lillian's card. I'm sorry. I think. I mean, you're welcome, or I'm sorry. I'm not really sure which one to say. Uh, once, once you pay the bill, the sting goes away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you buy more. And your husband already knows it's my fault. He already knows. Just telling Krista made me do it. She put me in a virtual headlock. She gave me a noogie. She gave me a wedgie. And she said, do this or it's going to get worse. And you didn't have on your best underwear. You were afraid it was going to rip when I did the wedgie. And so you just gave in because you didn't want to walk around all day with ripped underwear from a wedgie, from an atomic wedgie. And it's just telling Krista made you do it. He'll believe you. All right, so are we ready to wrap up for the night? It's about that time, girl. Yeah, because my pain isn't drying quick enough, and I didn't bring my heat gun up, so yeah. Well, All right. So tell them what you're about. Guys. Huh? Tell them what you're about. Tell them what I'm about. <laughs> That's a in good one this way. In the business painting world, we ain't got that much time. Just we'll leave the other stuff out. Yeah. Uh, my name is Sue. And I am a furniture artist based out of Sevierville, Tennessee. You can find me, my uh, Dixie Bell paint products, wood cutouts, jewelry, antiques, inside Fleet Traders Paradise, 1907 Winfield Dunn Parkway, uh, where we're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 9 to 5. And I am Krista Barrera. I am a furniture artist out of Garland, Texas, litter to glitter. Um, I will be on the Miss Lillian's website, uh, Facebook page, uh, every Monday at three Eastern to central. You can always watch the replay. You can always reach out to me, uh, before I go, Amber or Delania says, I'm literally laughing out loud and he's looking at me like I'm crazy. So what's different than how he normally looks at you? <laughs> uh, Amber's laughing. Uh, Nick is here. He says, my God, that blonde is so cute. Sue, you got an admire. So, uh, so every Monday. Well, it's about now, time. So, uh, <laughs> Delaney said there's nothing different about the way he normally looks at her than he is now. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Amber, yes, I'm on the Miss Lillian page every Monday at 3 Eastern to Texas time. And so Donna is on. Hey, Donna. And so I will be coming to you every Monday on the Miss Lillian's page, every Tuesday here on Whiskey and Women. You never know when I'm going to jump up somewhere and be like, I'm doing a lot. Um, just that's when, you know, I'm working on something. And I'm like, hey, somebody needs to see this. Um, also, you know, the August 12th, we will be driving to Tennessee back to Sue's for my 50th birthday. So, uh, Sue is, Sue and my husband are my, um, I don't know what to call you guys. My task master, my party master, my party planner. Um, only thing I was told is that they're going to be having a lot of conversations. I'm not allowed to ask anything to sit down and shut up and enjoy the ride. And I'm scared. I need someone to hold me. Um, so, uh, lots of surprises. I'll, uh, I'll be turning on my video camera this time. Okay, Lots now, of surprises. I, I'm scared. So, uh, if you uh, want to know what's going on, ask them because I have no idea what we're doing. I was told, just, like I said, sit down, shut up, strap in tight, and enjoy the ride. I was. Told and what's that thing we're gonna, we're gonna do? Zorb? We're gonna zorb? Oh, the zorb. Okay, so look that up, guys. You got to look up zorbing. Z o r b i n g. The only place in the United States that you can zorb at this level is in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, which is like five miles from where Sue lives. And so we want to go zorbing. And so we're going to go zorbing and we want to go zip lining, not like we did on the carts before, but actually like no. down the entire mountain. We want so something like, ah! high, like far. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's some things that I've said, Hey, I want to, but I don't know what we're gonna. So yeah, definitely look up zorbing. Because we want to go zorbing while we're there. I didn't even know what zorbing was until like a week ago. I didn't know until you told me and it's right here. So yeah, I'm excited. I know. 
All right. So I love you guys and we will see you guys uh, Monday on Miss Lillian's page and Tuesday back here on Whiskey and Women. Much love you guys. Thanks, guys. Bye.